Hello everyone, welcome back to RDLP, I'm Solon, and you're watching the end of Sweet Fuse. I think this will be, this should be the very end of everything, maybe, I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, as you can see, we're in a new place. It's all new over here. Um, and new hair. I've got uh, this whole mohawky thing going. This was new! Uh, if you, have, if you haven't watched my streams, or any of these things, this is all new and exciting and all sorts of stuff going all over the place. Um, what else is going on? So, we are trying to get all up in Shirabe's business, like young women are wanting to do. Young women like myself. Um, we want to get with Shirabe in order to hopefully spill his head full of secrets and figure out the mystery like we do. Um, oh my god, I totally remember, I need to get my walkthrough out. Give me, like, a split second. Okay, got it. Um, and we're using a walkthrough to make sure that we get to the very best ending. I'm not sure if there's like a threshold, like how many heart- Actually, let me show you this. You guys, I don't even know if you've seen this. I've got a whole affection meter that shows me how witted I am with the boys. All six of them, right in a row, just like you see. Uh, obviously, Shido hates me and wishes I were dead. Wakasa is kind of like, you know, I notice you. I recognize you're a human being with distinct qualities. And Shirabi's like, I want your babies! Um, so yeah, yeah, I think we're, we're going to hopefully use that arrow to pierce Shirabe's heart. And then destroy it. I don't know, whatever we do. My love is malevolent. And so is my love making. I'll still take screenshots. Um, we are on day six, I believe. So let's get on with it. When I woke up the next morning, Mai and Shirabe were still asleep. Oh yeah, Mai wanted us to sleep together. That's right! We were in bed with Shirabe. One step there, one step closer. I'd been so worried I would be too nervous to sleep, but I'd been out at all... I'd been out almost as soon as my head hit the pillow. Mai seemed to have wrapped her arms around Shirabe sometime during the night. They looked like a normal, loving family. And not an abusive, hurtful one. Right? Oh gosh. That's right. Mai, and so Mai said something about how this made her feel like she had a mom. Aww. Oh, I think Shirabe's wife died right after Mai was born. Does he still think about her? Saki! You can't just ask if people still think about their passed away... Uh, their, their, you can't ask about widows. You can't do that. But when I tried to remember if he'd said anything about her, my head just felt hazy. Whoa, did I sit up too fast or something? Oh no, my whole body feels kind of hot. I feel like this, we might get sidelined again. That might be where this is leading. This whole deal with Shirabe and like going through this, Shirabe's path is so wacky and weird and foreign and not right. We haven't been playing games, we've been going off on our own and breaking Hogstein's whole thing. I started when Shirabe spoke. I hadn't realized he was awake already. Oh, good morning. Is something wrong? You look red. Really? Yeah. H hold on. He reached out a hand and pressed it against my forehead. Oh, that feels kind of nice and cool. Saki, right now, he's like twice as old as you. Maybe four times as old as you. Maybe 20 times. 20 times older than you. Just because he eats candy doesn't mean he's a child. Shrave frowned. You're burning up. What? All that action yesterday must have been a bit too much for you. Yeah, that makes sense, I suppose. The whole time we were looking for Mai, I'd been running on pure adrenaline. Now I was paying the price. There was also the punching. The punching definitely happened. And the zapping. And the running. And the lemoning. A lot of lemoning. I'm alright. I'm sure this will go away soon. Well, don't push yourself if you don't have to. Why don't I go see if I can get an ice pack from one of the piglets? He patted me tenderly on the head, then moved to get up. He likes to touch my head a lot. Urgh. Oh, don't oh, Shirabe is gonna die. But the moment he dropped his weight off of the bed and onto his feet, he groaned and bent over in pain. <sighs> oh, it's like... <sighs> What's wrong? Is it your ankle again? Yeah, it's bugging me a little. A little? He can barely stand. Let me look at it. Fern. 
He pulled up the leg of his pants to reveal a mottled dark red ankle, swollen to nearly double its normal size. Oh my god. I had no idea it had gotten this bad. Yesterday's game must have been really hard on it. You should probably stay off of it. Hate to admit it, but you're probably right. I'll go get help. No, you're sick. You should stay here. What? This is like a competition. We'll, we'll like have a hobbled race to get to the nurse first. Hey, don't worry about it. What's good having a kid if you if you can't get them to run errands for you every so often? My, wake up. She mumbled and opened her eyes. Daddy? My, do you think you could go get someone? We can't really go anywhere right now. I'm sorry, I wish I, we could have let you sleep. It's okay, I'll be right back. She hopped out of bed and trotted purposefully out of the room. She's probably happy to get an adult job to do. This is bad. It's getting worse. He was frowns all arounds. That leg, man. How did it get this bad? Have you just been ignoring the pain? Believe me, it wasn't this bad last night. Should have paid closer attention. What's wrong? Shido pushed open the door, followed by Mai. Hey, sorry to bother you, detective. Your daughter pounded on the door asking for help. My god! What happened to your ankle? It seems to have swollen a bit over the night. Our young lady here has also come down with a fever. You're both out of commission, then. You're both out of commission, then? Shido sighed and shook his head. <sighs> sorry, what about the others? Are they okay? They're in Urabe's room, making sure he's alright. Everyone's fine. God, we're just... <laughs> Everyone's losing it. <laughs> this has been awful. I'm so glad we were with Shido the first time around, and all these terrible things were avoided. Is he awake? No. No, not yet. Oh, okay. It looks like you two could use a day off today. Whoa there, pal. I might not be able to walk, but I'm not dead yet. That old noodle's still as sharp as ever. I can... Nope! Nope! Not happening! A man who can't even stand is just going to slow us down. I don't care how smart he is. You need to stay here. <laughs> Mitarashi's back in action now. I think we'll be able to manage today's game without you. Right, they didn't even have Mitarashi last time. Or at least, well, he showed up at the end and saved the day like he always does because he's awesome. Besides, someone needs to be here when Urabe wakes up. Might as well be you. Okay, we'll stay. Sorry about this. Nothing to be sorry about. We'll beat the game and be back this evening, safe and sound. Like heroes. Shido frowned at Shirabe's ankle one last time. He just like hates that ankle. He's like, Ew, your ankle. It disgusts me. And then turned and left the room. Do you really think they'll be able to beat today's game with just four people? Sure, they figured it out last time. What would what's today's game? Today's the sixth day, and they're doing like the pop star thing. And that was yeah, no, we got carried by Mitarashi and um Mitarashi, Shido, and Wakasa carried the game anyway, so Yeah. No, totally fine. Yeah, we just have to trust them. Oh, and uh Um God, I always forget his name. Nope, we're going to the we're going to the affection meter. Uh, Meoshi, Meoshi was also the one who did the whole viral thing and just rocked it. Uh, yeah, that's that's a way back now. That was like what 15 episodes ago. Jeez, that was so cool though. What should we do about Urabe then? He might wake up soon. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Hey, my, you think you could go to Urabe? Uh, the guy with the long hair's room. Why? When he wakes up, I want you to come and get us. Do you think you can help your dad out? Of course, I'll go over there right now. Thanks, bye. She's the best. You're welcome. She just does everything. She's a rock star. She trotted out of the room again. Sharpen looked, and I looked at one another with slightly forced smiles. We're alone again. I am so sorry about all this. I thought we talked about that. Yeah, yeah, I know. You chose to come help me, but I'm not really sure you knew what you were getting into when you signed on. And so far, I'm pretty sure I've done nothing but get you in one scrape after another. Shirabe. 
I'm assuming don't worry about that is the correct response. Oh, I told you to stop doing that. Right, he told us to stop saying I'm sorry, so stop it. Stop apologizing all the time. Right, because that's the only thing we've been good for. Every time we say stop apologizing, it was like this trigger where he's like, oh, you're an adult. And that's the only way she, he actually sees us as an adult. And so we're going to keep just pushing that over and over and over until he respects us as an equal and not as a child. That's how we got to break through his stone cold heart. Uh, right, sir. Gah. What should I say instead then? How about our safe word? Oh, wait, I know. Sharby grinned at me. Thank you. Oh, I really like that. Very good. You're welcome. Well, you should probably try and catch a few winks. Rest is going to be the best treatment for that fever. Okay. I lay back down, closed my eyes, and was asleep almost immediately. He said thank you. I like that a lot. It was really nice. That was that was a moment. I felt like I had a moment there. Some indeterminate amount of time later, Shirabe's voice woke me up. Forty-seven years later, Shirabe's voice woke me up. Hey, they said indeterminate. I can pick whatever time I want. Damn, no, no, that doesn't make sense either. Oh, he's probably in the, he's like, putting little scraps of newspaper together, and he's got like the big clipboard, he's like got pins in the wall, and they've got the ropes between them. I opened my eyes and saw Shirabe frowning to himself about something. My body was a lot less sluggish, and my head felt clear. When I touched my forehead, my fever felt like it was almost gone. What are you doing? Oh, did I wake you? Yeah, but it's okay. Excuse me. Is something wrong? Not particularly. I've just been trying to figure out these notes we got. What about him? Shido gave me a call just before the game started. I guess Hogstein is going to an ask them what the answer is to these when they're done. If we can get it right, the pig will turn himself in. Really? That seems way too easy, though. Well, I assume there's catch somewhere, but it still seems like it would be a good idea to get to the bottom of this puzzle. Fortunately, I found myself with an overabundance of free time, so I thought I'd give it the old college try. Good, good thinking. So far, we haven't really been able to make any sense of him. Good! We are going to finally be able to put all of the clues out on the table. That's hopefully. Yeah, so how are you feeling? You're right about napping. My fever seems to be just about gone. Really, that's good to hear. He nodded, then looked at me for a long moment with a strange expression I couldn't quite place. This is... I guess you could say it's a little nostalgic. What? My mom was kind of frail her whole life. I spent a lot of time tending to her just like this. Shirabe! No. Does he still miss her? Shut up, Saki! Ruining the moment! Um, Shirabe? Hmm? Do you still miss your wife? Saki's gonna have a jealous moment in a moment here. She's gonna get like... The moment I said it, I knew it was none of my business. Because it's none of your business, Saki. But my curiosity had gotten the better of me. Shrabi looked at me for a moment, then leaned back. Well, I'll never forget her, that's a given. And I cared about her very much. <laughs> of, of course, I'm so awkward after asking a, a ridiculous question. Sorry. So, of course, I, I regret that she's not here, but I suppose you could say I don't miss her anymore. Mm, she's gone, but I'm still here. I can't spend my life wishing for something that'll never happen. It's not an easy balance to reach, but you have to learn to cherish the past at the same time you let go of it. He has been... Al almost all of his narrative is about uh, giving up the past. And so, to find him still here in this rut, I uh, have to have the past just reflecting against him so directly. Uh, I wish he would get more visible about that, but uh, yeah, no, the, the main theme of Shirabe's storyline has always been his uh, having to be, being forced to fight his past, uh, or at least reconcile with it, and hopefully come to some kind of conclusion.